White guy. Ladies, gentlemen, and non-binaries. I'm just kidding. That's not a real thing. Welcome to White Guys. Hey! <laughs> We're kicking it old school. It's me and Kenny. We're going back. Matt's working late tonight, so it's a... Uh, so OG. I'm going to sit in and I'm going to do his half version of himself. So I'm half the Matt. Yeah. I would have been if I was Matt. Yeah. You know? <laughs> We're all working late tonight. You look great. This I'm not used to you being this close to me. It's I been, know. It's been a, a long time since you you've feeling, been this close to me. Do you feel the tingles that I feel? I, I, I don't. No. It yeah. should, you should because it's that month. You should be <laughs> feeling all kinds of specialness. It is. It's the P month. It's the That's best it. month of the year. And this episode is going to be chock full of nuts. Just like the, uh, you ever drink that coffee? Chock full of nuts? No, but both of them. Both of the nuts. I, I, what's that? That is coffee always confused me. I'm like, what? Chock full? I don't even know what that is. I'm like oblivious. It's like, a ch- it's, it's, it's a better quality, cheaper mm. coffee that I used to get back in my 20s. That just you know, sounded redundant. Like, chock full of nuts, but it's like, wait, what? Why are there cheaper? Are there quality? How does that work? It's it's not bad for the oh. for the price that it is. Oh, okay. It's it's a better quality of the cheaper coffees, but I just never understood it. Like chuck full of nuts. Like what are there nuts in this coffee? Why why are you putting nuts in my coffee? Like I'm thinking what? like chalk that you would write on the ground with like and then nuts. Like you're gonna draw on nuts with chalk. Like I don't. Understand. No no chalk like oh like Chocolate. this is chalk full of nuts. Oh I don't know what that means. It's like just a, it emphasizes the word that follows it. So full. Mm. So it's mm. like like slamming full of nuts mm. or like, you know what I mean? I've slammed the nuts. I it know should be ch- chock full of beans. <laughs> if it, you know what I mean? It's like, why are there nuts in my coffee? I don't know. <laughs> that sounds perfect. What kind of coffee shop is this? It's salty. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. This coffee sounds pretty gay is what it sounds like. Oh. It's perfect. I, <laughs> yeah, it's perfect for this. Are you kidding me? JoJo, isn't that perfect? It's amazing. Exactly. <laughs> anyway, this is... Um, oh, yeah, we're not we're not doing the episode number anymore because we're past that, but it's like... 35! Let's <laughs> <laughs> see it. 34, 35, something like that. We're in the mid third. We're in our I mid- wish I was 35. We're in our mid-30s. Oof. Yeah. It's gone. Episode-wise. <laughs> mid-30s is past. I mean, JoJo's not even close. <laughs> So you weren't here last night. I've heard some fuckery that you talked about. But me, Matt, and JoJo tried our first white guy's TikTok live. How'd that ticky talk out? <laughs> <laughs> I like the Fisher Price. That's just sticks with my How brain. How long do we last? 30, no, I think 40 we, minutes? No, no. I think we made it to 60. It just, what? As soon as we hit the 60, it Cut said out. no so more. We got, no. We, yeah, we got taken down for hate speech. What the hell are you guys hanging out with? Even Adolf? though we... I, we Dude, kept it pretty clean. We were trying so hard. We tried very hard. You know, we didn't necessarily succeed, but we tr- we tried. Yeah, and I and you know, the parts when we slipped up really weren't even that bad. They weren't compared to what we normally say. <laughs> I mean, Matt did say the T word. Yeah, and out then loud. And then the and the na nap. Many uh, uh, yeah. Like Mr. T word or like Mr. Trump. Trump. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we made now it I gotta, all. Now I gotta bleep that. Four <laughs> minutes. Yeah. Just, what are you gonna replace it with Trump? What are you talking? About? That would be great, actually. I should do a little, a little clip. Mr. T. You should do Mr. T. Of just Trump, real fast, and I'll just put that in instead of the classic bleep. Damn, you can't say that. Trump. Like. That's so bizarre. That's well, TikTok bizarre. is is TikTok's the worst of all of them. I mean, I mean t- like there are, in fact, those folks, and you can't say that word. That's wild. Well, because there's a proper term for it. Oh, yeah, transgender. Oh. Meanwhile, queer is okay. Which to me, that when was, we were growing yeah, up, that was as, yeah, it wasn't that okay. was a horrible word. To use and now well, that that's wasn't a, as the horrible of words, but yeah, it was one of them. It was pretty bad. Yeah. So that one's been reclaimed, but T R A N N Y. Well, the F word was probably but, worse. Sure. But but as far yeah. as like a term to like refer to somebody yeah. else as like it that wasn't was, that cool until like yeah 
the the show came out. But TikTok, I mean, you can't even use the word like kill or right. mur- like people say unalived on oh, TikTok. Oh, okay. I gotta get educated. But there's no so... see the thing is, and we talked we tried like to talk a... about it on the live. There's no list. Oh, like they don't let you. They don't let you know uh, they don't what the you. rules are. Oh, okay. And so, because it's there's their... this ambiguity in the rules, then they can smack you down mm-hmm. at any time because nobody knows what the actual rules uh, okay. so that's, are. That's hard. It's so biased, though. It's like if you're gonna, if you, if they're gonna be rules for your platform, just let us know what they are. Yeah. Yeah. And then we'll abide, abide. by them. Yeah. No, it's right? hard because it's like, it's like you don't know until you fuck up. And that's yeah. the deal. It's a horrible thing. I mean, I, I had a I had a TikTok, a comment on TikTok, which was on one of Matt's videos on Red Pill University. And I can't remember even what the video was because when I go back into TikTok to click on it, it doesn't even go to the video because the comment was taken down for hate speech. But the mm. comment literally was, ew, fuggin' gross. F-U-G-G-I-N, gross. It's not even a regular word. So... Yeah, that's bizarre. That's why I was taking that. Ew, Ew. fucking gross. Ew. Okay, it, it's it's so crazy the fact that like you can't say that like certain words like that, but yet I'll go on my TikTok feed and just scroll women with like you know see through shirts and all this other stuff, right. and it, that does not get taken down. I mean, right. like they trust me, you can get taken down by doing that, but like if you just slightly alter what you're trying to present in your persona, but everyone knows your true agenda. By watching it, yeah, that doesn't get taken down. But yet, when you just want to have a conversation with someone and say, you know, real world, stuff, don't say it, yeah, don't say real it. world yeah. stuff, and yeah. all of a sudden it's like, nope, canceled. Yeah, yep, it's, it's wild. It's wild. But it's also a great platform to interact with people. Tiki taki, yeah, tiki taki. So that's why we keep doing it. But Unlike any else, I don't know. We'll see. I mean, I would, I would. I'd like would, to start pushing Rumble more. Like you can do live, we can do live stuff on Rumble too. But I don't know. And we talked about this last night too. Just I don't know if the numbers of people are there yet. And it's like just not a great platform yet. the The interaction is not there. The interface is not great. You can't even make like a playlist of your videos. It's just like when we upload stuff, and that is something that that I have been doing is uploading all of our old stuff to rumble just so it's there but all it does is just list it chronologically like we i can't separate the podcast podcast episodes from the music parodies from the skits i can't do it all it's just everything's just on a chronological timeline which is just kind of sloppy i almost you know, but you sorry to interrupt you but youtube may have some um like terms on that where they own that like that that setup yeah, you know what I mean. If they have I Rumble, don't think so. Rumble, I mean, but their interface is very similar to YouTube, it could be a huge lo- lawsuit. Now, mind you, it is you know somewhat new. So what you're saying yeah. could be just pure being sloppy, not there yet. But I think they're not just there. They're not there yet. Right? What if What if you don't even own a suit? Like, can they still see you? <laughs> <laughs> what, is it? what the fuck? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I could have like <laughs> I mean that was good right I mean that was good <laughs> but if you don't own a suit they can't sue you that's true I think that is a loophole if all you own is t-shirts law. like you, you gonna sue a t-shirt what are you gonna do you got no money you just got shirts that's right. all I got like I don't have $40,000 dunks I don't have them Not I've yet. seen them no nah, I don't want them I don't want them seen them it's ridiculous i've been watching all these i was talking to you earlier about it, like all these dunks that are like crazy money the bedazzled ones are ridiculous like i'm like <laughs> yo i'm like holy shit people are spending the money yep and they wore out they wore out like once you walk them off the like out of foot locker wherever you're getting them the special little stores and stuff like they don't they're not worth it like it's like a car you know once you like walk them off the yeah you had, a lot. Ca- you had to carry them off Once you the walk lot. Once you walk them off the lot, it's like yeah. over. Don't be wearing them off the lot. You know what never wears out, though? Pride Month. Oh. Isn't it mental men's health? Like It's also men's mental yeah. health awareness month. 
that. It's a collaboration. How about that? that? Isn't that wild? I saw that. Like I'm like, but it gets like drowned out by it, pride. It makes me so upset. How can you be proud when people are killing themselves? I, I don't know what's wrong with you guys. You haven't had the conversation, then you may find out what's wrong with us. Obviously, Pride Month takes precedent over men's mental health. I don't even know the president. Awareness he almost month. shit his uh, pants the other day. I, I know, I know. It's I know you're being sarcastic, but just hearing that gets me <laughs> gets me so mad. <laughs> like I may be supporting what month it is right now with my T-shirt, but Look. that that is my biggest pet peeve about this month. Like I could go in a tear about it because like it, it's so true. It, it it's completely drowned out. I feel like they should be separate. We could share it because it is. It's a huge issue in the United States. Like men's mental health, like the suicide rate for men is like through the roof. The, roof. the top, we win. We win at suicide. Yeah, we're winning at something. Especially white men, white middle-aged men, Shit. crush. I'm on the list. The suicide numbers. Cru- we, yeah, we're we're there. Yeah, yeah. Where's Daryl Hall in the whole situation? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going on. But we have. Did you guys see uh, what happened in Philly? On, I think this was from June 2nd, so second day I in. I did see it. We had a crazy, it was a meeting meeting of the protest minds. <laughs> well, winning, God, what you doing? I want to yeah. say, you know, the minds that aren't, aren't the strongest of minds. Does it start with an L? But they... Uh, or an R. Oh. There could be a there could be an R word in there too for those types of minds. But it was the Pride March butting heads with the Pro Palestine March in downtown Philly. Two PPs. Two PPs. Yeah. They should have just joined and just like worked it all out. Yeah, but, but they don't really. The thing is, when you get down to it, they don't really cross over well. They don't cross over well. Mm-mm. You know. You got, you know, you got to figure, to me, it was almost like one of the, it was like an event in the oppression Olympics. It was like poor planning on someone's part. It was poor planning, but it was kind of beautiful to see them butting heads, you know. They have <laughs> like, their own agendas and they didn't mesh well. It yeah. happens. Um, yeah. For so like, if this was the oppression Olympics, you know, this would have been like the, like a tug of war between queers for Palestine and Palestinians. But I think about like other events in the oppression Olympics, you know, it's got, you've got like the one legged black lesbian trans woman, a hundred meter dash, you know, which is a great one. People love that. You know, like, what do you think? Like, as far as like, if you would coin anyone as a winner in this situation, who do you think won? I think it was a draw. It was a tie. Yeah, I think it was a draw. Someone drew a line and didn't cross it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what's but, going on? But the, in the Oppression Olympics, I was thinking about you know like what what are the other kind of events you could have in the Oppression Olympics, and um, I feel like you could have like a, the map. You know, you know the the term map. It's what they call pedophiles now. Minor attracted persons. No, I didn't they, know this. Yeah, it's they call them me. they call them maps. So because pedophile is is uh, an insulting term that brings a lot of baggage with it. So it's it's pedophile is not acceptable. Anymore. It's minor attracted persons, which is abbreviated MAP. Is this a fact? This is a fact. I'm this not, is real. I'm not making this up. What? But I thought if we're talking about the Oppression Olympics, it could be like a, almost like a Hungry Hungry Hippos version with these maps where like they're they're in this pen that's full of kids and it's just, you get like three minutes. You can grab, you just got to grab as many kids as you can in the time limit. <laughs> I'm thinking like they stole map quest. That's why there's no more yeah. map quest. No, that's it. They're maps. But, but instead we got, we got the tug of war between queers for Palestine and Hamas. That was basically. wild. It was a stalemate <laughs> where the queers for Palestine were like, Oh, we love you guys. Can we, could we just get through? And they're like, uh, no, we we don't love you. They're like, but, but we're protesting for you too. We love Palestine. Where's for Palestine? And they're like, um, yeah. You want to come with us up to a rooftop party? Uh, beautiful, breathtaking views from the rooftop. <laughs> Where are you going? Where are you going? <laughs> anyway, off we don't. The top. We don't. Uh, off the top rope. Off the top. Over the top. 
Is that like um, that Stallone movie? Over the top was the best, dude. Like I do that move every time I'm arm wrestling anyone. I go over the top because I'm winning <laughs> every time. But so I didn't. I, I didn't grab the video of the head to head tug of war between um, the Pride March and the Palestinians. But we do have a video of the aftermath, which I don't know if this was. It's hard to tell if this was the same march if this was a different march but it was on the same day and uh this this is pr- this is a philly pride march like this is a perfect philly pride march this is what should happen at a Real philly quick, pride Joe, march. Oh, got i was gonna say like <laughs> oh my God, I'm sorry. Is this What's going on? this is philly pride jesus what, rainbow flag? I mean... Why? I don't understand these. It's rough. Damn. I don't, I don't know what kind of pride this is. Is it... I don't like it's it. Not, it looks like it's not too proud. It's not great. Chill, 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 chill. Now, where the, where is this at? Do we know? It's downtown somewhere. In Philadelphia? Yo, yeah. was that guy just biting someone? Yeah, it looked like it. Hear the taser? Well, this is probably one of the reasons why I don't go back to this city that much. <laughs> Cause I'm not trying to get chewed on. Like, I'm telling you, like that's wild, man. Or maybe I want to get chewed on. When's the next event? <laughs> I, I think you guys are overreacting. That's like a Eagles loss outside the stadium. That is like a regular mm-hmm. night. Yeah, yeah. That's like a Tuesday night. Exactly. Yeah. I don't. I don't know. I don't what? even know why we're reporting on this one. Honestly, yeah, it's, it's just regular. What's that like? What's that one spot in Philly that you go to? Like Ruby Tuesdays, or like what's that one spot where you do like the um, Woody's? No. <laughs> uh, no. Um, Which one? Men after dark. It was on South Street, but it was like everyone. Tattooed moms. There. No, not your moms. No. Um, no tattooed moms. I know. I'm just, oh, uh, on South Street. Yeah, it was like Ruby. It was like a spot where you get like your like your New Orleans style drink or whatever. There I was a there down. Was. There was an upstairs, and there was a down. Like it was. I, I don't know. Where was that? I, I don't know. I can't remember. I think so there long. was a Ruby Tuesdays down there, but there's something where it was like you would go drink fancy, but like you would drink these New mm. Orleans style drinks. I don't know. He's trying to pull the memory out of Kenny. It's like mm. trying to pull it. Dude, in like yeah, if you were me, you'd know. You'd understand. <laughs> like trying to pull a tapeworm out of your asshole. <laughs> <laughs> you could do that. It's like um, have a bidet, like a, so it'd be a clean <laughs> tapeworm. So at the very least, it would be the cleanest tapeworm you've ever pulled out of anyone's back end. <laughs> Oh, it's great. Speaking of Pride Month, though, we I pulled this one up. This is some classic Norm MacDonald talking about the whole idea of pride and what you should or should not take pride in. So do you want to roll that one, JoJo? Because I went to this gay pride parade, Very and I saw in it there were these uh, old men and old ladies like with these uh, signs that said, we are proud of our gay son." You know, and so I was saying, that's an odd thing to be proud of, you know, because it's not an achievement, you know, it's not like something you work all your life to be gay or anything like that. And I, I just wondered, I just, I, I had a hard time believing that these 50, 60 year old men are actually bragging, you know, at work like they're, hey, uh, Bill, you know, uh, my kid, oh my God, we're proud of him, Johnny. He uh, uh, graduated from Harvard, you know. A first in his class, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, now he's articling over at a law firm, and uh, oh yeah, he loves cock. <laughs> you know? He can't get enough cock in his mouth, his ass, his kids always cock. I got a, I got a picture of the boy here sucking another man's cock. I want to show you. <laughs> To watch no, it's wild. the maturation of you as an artist, to realize it took you nine and a half minutes to get around to the sucking cock stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful to see you comfortable in your own skin, Normie. All right. That's amazing. Isn't that incredible? <laughs> 
Norm Macdonald, mm. R.I.P. Baby, Mwah. love you. It's the best. Did he go to Harvard? <laughs> <laughs> He's from Canada. I don't think they let Canadians into Harvard. No, I don't think so. In the harbor or in the Harvard? <laughs> <laughs> he just can't get enough cack. Hey, his mouth and his ass. <laughs> it's very expensive to go to Harvard. You got it. Twenty dollars is twenty dollars. <laughs> Oh, Norm MacDonald, man. I miss that guy. It's a generational gap thing. I know absolutely nothing about yeah. him. I don't even know who he in. is. No Tons idea. Tons of folks back yeah. in the day. That I'll, do, this- I'll do a little super cut of Norm MacDonald stuff for you. Let's see. He So he got he basically got canned from SNL for doing too many OJ jokes, <laughs> which was one of the amazing things about when OJ died is it was it brought back all these old Norm Macdonald jokes and everybody was yeah. reposting all these Norm jokes because he was he went hard, <laughs> went hard and it's just so funny and like so unique like there was nobody like him he was yeah. just he had such a unique voice was he mainly yeah. a comedian or mm-hmm. okay yeah stand up he was on SNL for years okay. he did the Weekend Update um, did a couple movies but. Yeah, he's just, and then he had a podcast later in life too. And he, he had, he kept his cancer totally secret. Nobody knew he had cancer, like basically up to when he died. Wow. Didn't tell anybody. It's crazy how you can hide something like that. Yeah. People yeah. know nothing unless you say something. That's the deal. You don't, people don't know anything unless you tell them. A squeaky shoes. Squeaky green bits. <laughs> this is my bowl. That, that's the tapeworm. Yeah, when you out. have a bidet, it's what it sounds like. <laughs> nice and clean. Yeah. Yo, amen. Spick and span. Changed everything. Changed my life. Yo, question for I the... found Jesus in my bidet. Question for the bidet user. Yeah. So, yeah, of course, you know, I, I've installed them as plumbers, but I've never actually indulged in one. As a plumber, you should definitely take it for a ride. Now... I I, under, I understand how they work. They fucking oh they uh they aim for your um exit and clean it's it with directional. water. It's directional. You can do the front or the back. Okay. Um <laughs> so if you have a mangina you can clean But the but front. you but you still need to use paper to dry yourself off. No, you just use a cloth. There's no there's no dirt back there. Once you rinse it off, there's no dirt. What kind of cloth? Cotton cloth. I mean, if you were from, yeah, you would use like a like like a like, like a, a wash wa- towel, like a like a washcloth. Just pat it dry. Yeah, once you clean the dirt off, there's no dirt. Yeah, but that's not the same towel that you're using to dry your face with or dry no, your hands. No, you just have a so special you have a special back end dr- dapper. Do you use you- it more than once. I mean, if it's you're just drying your, it's a wet, it's the water. Do you use the same bath towel when you after you shower? Like how many times do you use a bath towel? Once. That's it. One time. <laughs> one you week. Fucking lie. Now one week. So if you're drying your two months. Yeah. There you go. So <laughs> there's the real one. No, that it's, sounds dirty. It, it's a month and a half for the wash towel, and it's three no, months so for the like, one you use to dry yourself off. So with. if you dry your body off after you take a shower, it's the same thing with your back end. <clears throat> there's no dirt once you dry yourself off. So you I don't just, put the towel in my ass though. I just. I just let that air dry. I just when you have yep, a bidet, through. there's no dirt after you're done rinsing off. It's just taking a shower. It's the same thing. I'm you sure about you. that until it misses or um, you had a sloppy been, one. Ever since Corona season, when everyone bought all the toilet paper and I couldn't have any, um, the bidet came into play. Yeah, and uh, I don't have to spend like millions of dollars on um, paper. Yeah, I mean it is a smart move. That, it, I'm I, telling I, you, I do oh, applaud yeah. you we're for so that. conditioned as filthy Americans to like do the same shit that they. Oh. Do taught us sure to like 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 i'm telling you if you get a bidet change your fucking life i w- I'm want to go down the rabbit hole one step farther go ahead. that it's been a current pet peeve of mine in all these old people's houses i go into and do like work at so you know residential plumber going to every type of person's house to do work yeah but every single time i'm in an old person's house and i you know have to shit i'm like you know politely asking me to use the restroom and all that Every single one of them has single ply toilet paper. Mm-hmm. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a generational thing because my grandparents have the same thing. I hate using the restroom at their yeah. place because it's like sandpaper. And I mean, I'm, I feel privileged now because when I moved, my roommate he only gets like double ply. Yeah. But like single ply toilet paper, 
old people, it it has to be a thing. The only reason they still sell single ply toilet paper is because of old people. Hundred percent. I think you're probably right. Yeah. The only time that I use single ply is when I'm in Jersey. I'm at like a place where I'm staying for like the beach, like at some of these places that you stay, like they like the communities that you live at. Like you can only use this particular place. You have to use one ply. You can't it, use two it, ply. Oh, it does, like, like the YMCA. The septic, yeah. No, I, I never met those guys, but um, it makes it, it makes absolutely no sense because the houses I'm working in are brand new. So, yeah, you know, I understand using thicker toilet paper on like septic systems, and you know, old cast iron is frowned upon. I totally get that. But you mean using thinner toilet paper? No, no, no it's, it. it's frowned upon. You don't want to use thicker toilet paper on cast iron right. or septic Septics, systems. Yeah. yeah, you want to use thinner. I totally understand that. But when you're living in a brand new house, just built brand new PVC, and you're using single ply toilet paper. It, it makes no sense because you still have yeah. to use the same amount of toilet it's paper conditioning. for it's it not to soak through the toilet paper. It just, I don't know, dude. It's, it's, pro- yeah, it's, it's probably, probably just, what they've always done. Yep. That's all it is. <sighs> yep. Makes me rage. Yeah, Yo, get a bidet. You don't need two ply. <laughs> or you're just weak and they're yeah. old, strong people who would just like <laughs> want that sandpaper. Well, it's paper, not even sandpaper. You're a little fact, pampered it just, asshole. It takes forever to clean, bro. Because you're, you're rolling that thing nah. up like three or four times. Just scrub it. Dude. <laughs> well, when you go to McDonald's, he's like, oh, this is, you be eating. Yo, you're like, you don't know, fucking destroy the toilet. Get the fuck out of here. Sorry, that's that's my rant. And Nah, but you're, hey, it's your experience. But yeah. for me, like, the only, t- I mean, once you, you get the, uh, look, you're not going to get shit on your face and, and wipe it with a towel. You got shit in your face. You're gonna use water. That, that's that's a Kenny quote. Like right that's there. like no, that's that's the sure. facts. Like if you got like feces on your face, you're not gonna use a fucking dry cloth to to uh, get it off your face. Right. You're gonna use water and hot water and soap. But also, I don't have an asshole on my face either. That's why you, I like you look my like asshole an asshole there on the face is here. Yeah, so. but your asshole's dirty. I don't Mine's, mind. Yo, if, no one's gonna want to eat your ass off. <laughs> Have a bidet. I'm not trying to get it eaten. It's good. Well, nobody wants to get down there. You got to get through the grapes first before you even get to them. Oh, it's like you, want, you really want to chew through these hot tamales? Are they seedless? Are get, they seedless? They are not seedless. <laughs> what did what'd you call? What did you call them? Your little soldiers? My little soldiers. Oh damn! <laughs> Here, I got a soldier for you. Put this up your ass. Protecting the gate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you do have a soldier. Why the hell do you have a little soldier? That's for all your grapes without the seeds. It's like the it's like the moon landing right there. There you go. Here we go. Up, up. All right. Come on, make it work, Norm. Come on. There we go. Pa pa pa. Where's Stanley Kubrick when we need him? Shit, he's probably dead, isn't he? He is. Yeah, he's exactly where he's supposed to be. He's up there with Norm. <laughs> Norm McDonald. Normy. Jokes with God. We got to do another ep- <laughs> episode of Jokes with God. Um, oh, yeah. Do you guys know the comedian Tim Dillon? I do. I've seen him. You shared him, and I've seen him out there in the wild. Yeah. He's amazing. And I think I've mentioned this before, but uh, if you like Joe Rogan, or you like Tim Dillon, or you like Alex Jones, or you like either one of those guys, Go look up the Rogan episode with all three of them, and it is mind blowing. It's amazing. It's so good. But he, but Tim was on um, with Tucker recently, a little over two hours, I think. And I would highly recommend that episode too. But we pulled a little clip out of there because if you watched this show before, you know, like you know, we make a ton of jokes about anybody who's not a white guy. Basically, and we make tons of jokes about white guys, too, but we love to joke about people who are not white guys, you know, because it's just it's what's going on in the culture right now. And it's it's so easy sometimes to do. Well, when you we already bust on us, each other, like, yeah, we, gotta just we bust on around. each other when we bust That's on other where the people. Diversity lies. But some people get a little too caught up, I think, in the fact of. Uh, this new diversity that's going on, you know, some people that like really hurt some people like to With the, the new wokeness. Yeah. Okay. But I think Tim, I think in this clip, Tim has a really good message that I think a lot of people could take to heart. Well, like when you feel like everything's just getting too much and you feel like, uh, you know, I just can't deal with this, this diversity anymore. I can't deal with this wokeness anymore. Yeah. It's like, just like killing me. Yeah. Like, uh, maybe just give this, this, 
clip from Tim he sums it up it, in a nutshell. I think he really does. Yeah, yeah no, nah, I get it. I'm all about it. Everybody's plugged into this matrix. Nothing's real. What people do is real, like the comedy and the movies and the art and the whatever and the books and all the things that people create. But how people in the business handle them and respond to them is dictated 100% by the winds that blow in. So if the woke wind blows in, they go, we're doing woke. Get every fat woman, get every minority. They're on television. I want women so fat they can't breathe on their own. <laughs> I want them in wheelchairs. I want them to have one leg and I want them to be indigenous. Go. And then when that makes no money, they go, great. White guys, let's do that. White guys are back. And Woo! then if, that, back, if, if people back. get mad again and they want the other, they don't believe in it. The people there don't really believe in anything. It's just like they're just waiting to see which way they can go. Right? It's amazing. I believe it. I think he, like, nailed it. It's an awesome clip. Bring the white guys back, baby. Nailed it. White guys, let's do that. White guys are back. I didn't think we went anywhere. Not yet. We're not yet. Uh, well, we'll see. They're going to brown us out, don't you worry. <laughs> I'm, I'm working on it. I'm, yeah. I'm, hope, I'm hoping we get one good push before we get totally exterminated. Like, just one, an, just a couple like a years... Little, Maybe five so, years uh, where white guys can be cool again, where uh, white guys can be back in commercials again, where white guys can be I didn't realize leading we men were again. Out. I didn't we're, realize. Oh, uh, we we're out. We're out. We're How out. long like, is the so, like, president's la -la -la term? Man. Four years. Oh, okay. All right, I think we'll, we may have an upcoming four years. We'll see. Mr. T. Mr. B they said to clean his diaper. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, one one more like one more good push for the white guys before we just fade fade into history. I mean, I'm gonna be white until I'm dead. Yeah. So I don't know what you guys are doing. Oh, he's only five percent. But as a um, collective, as a collective group, you know, because obviously, right, our time is limited yeah our days are I mean, our days are numbered yeah i'm telling you man by you the time i'm 30 i'm gonna be a black man dude you see the new president of mexico is no. a jew a white jewish woman what are you this, serious this is insane 37 of the presidential candidates that were running for the president of mexico got they were... assassinated 37 and how many how many were running more than thir at least 38 <laughs> because she's alive and she got elected. That's crazy. Yeah. She has like 12 votes. <laughs> what? Cartel, baby. The hell is going that's, on? That's cartel that's all the way the through. That's the next country directly south from us. Cartel, 100%. Do you think that's going to be good for the border? Uh, well, Taco uh, Bell got a new... Um, with, with the little cheese it in it, it's a big cheese it. Oh, they got a new thing. Yeah, Taco Bell. What's well, the new thing? I got to run for the board. We got to go. They have this like. The, <laughs> you heard Mexico. You heard yeah. Mexico. You're I'm like thinking Taco, Taco Bell. Bell. <laughs> like they got the new like. It's kind of racist, bro. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm not from Mexico. I'm from America. Taco Bell's not Mexican, man. What is it? Poland. That's America. That's Polish. Oh, I'm sorry. Taco I was thinking Chipotle or something. <laughs> Am I wrong? Chipotle. <laughs> is it Chipotle? Chipotle. Chipotle. Yeah. They don't have bidets it's in there. It's traditional Polish food. <laughs> <laughs> Am I thinking Panero? I'm not <laughs> sure. You actually got him. <laughs> You're thinking Pantera? <laughs> I love him, That's dude. heavy metal soup. Yes. <laughs> that guy, he's, he's, he's in the whites. He's a white guy. Yeah. He's like... He's like more like Matt's game. German. I don't really, I don't really know Pantera at all. <sighs> I know it's kind of like that. It's yeah, heavy. But... It's, going, it's heavy. It's almost it's like good. Taco Bell. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's like the Taco Bell of white metal. It's like the Taco yeah. Bell without the bidet in the bathroom. Oh yeah, it's okay. all bombs. All right. It's all bombs. <laughs> it's a kind of little bit of Hamas thrown in there. But the fucking they got this new thing. They get the like, tell us the cheese it the big Dude, cheese it. You every it? everything from Taco Bell that they've released new is the same exact thing, but either more cheese, more beef, or spicy. Nah, dude, hold or on. crispier, crispier, fried more. Yeah, or it's, fried it's like it, it's wrapped in something else and then. Oh, fried. it's all garbage. Like, no, I'm not no, I'm serious. Them, I want like, you, I want you to go there and look at the menu and exclude tacos. All right, 
yeah. and look at every single thing. It is the same exact setup, either folded differently, more cheese, less cheese, or different meat. But right. it is the same it's, exact it's thing. It's three basic things. Yeah. It's all right. it is. And the, yeah. I mean, Which don't get is, me wrong. When you're drunk, Taco Bell is like the golden Don't ticket. act like, don't blame it on the alcohol. When you're not drunk, you're still going. <laughs> no, but I mean, that's ba- that's basically Mexican food. Is it like, it's basically no. three, th- three, th- not Taco Bell is Mexican food, no, but I'm no, saying no. Mexican food is basically three things. Beans, rice, and tortillas. Done a bunch of different ways, <laughs> which is essentially what Taco Bell is. It's white Mexican. What well, Mexican. Yeah. Oh, Mexican. <laughs> it's a woke Mexican. <laughs> Not woke, white. I mean white, I'm sorry. What Mexican. But you gotta look at the new commercials. It's got this big fucking cheese it or you something. You still watch TV? Only on the uh, digital. Oh. Oh, yeah, okay. So I'll, I'll catch, like, I watch, like, old movies, but they'll have the commercials, so. Okay. Nice. But that's it. Like, I have every platform to watch it, but I don't want to, like, get involved. Like, you're talking about the new um, Sean Gillis. Shane Gillis. Shane I'm Gillis. sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. But, like, I want to watch it, but, like, I don't want to watch it because I don't want to get like caught up in the mix. You know what I mean? No, like, it's okay. It's only six episodes. I know, but you can like, knock it out in the night or two. Like how many hours? Like what's yeah. an episode? Thirty minutes? They're th- yeah, they're 30, 40 yeah, minutes maybe. Like, yeah, bang it out. It's like worth I, it. You should watch. Like, it. I could bang it out. Like I bang you out for this month. Valley Forge Tire Company. <laughs> it's awesome. Are you tired? No. <laughs> I am. I'm falling asleep with the keys over here. <laughs> Yo, wake bit. up, dude. You got more shit to do. Um, this might hit you. I, I was conflicted whether or not I wanted to bring this clip to the show. Cause I love you a lot. How do you love me? But, um, this guy, Matt Walsh, who's was a very popular conservative did podcaster. Did he play with the Eagles? He did. <laughs> I think in the early eighties. Like threw yeah. TVs out into the pool and like destroyed like hotel rooms. Is that the one same one? He, I'm thinking yeah. Mike Walsh. He, no, 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 no. He 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 used to drive a Maserati. Yeah. New. Like then he had like a limo driver because he couldn't drive. I think anymore. it did. It did. How fast did his Maserati go? I can't remember. One eighty five. There you go. <laughs> no, that was. Is that Matt Walsh? Yeah, that was Please. Matt Walsh. Anyway, he's no, not. No, Mike Walsh. <laughs> he was his. James Gang, that was his band. Yeah, so Those Eagles. so he used to be, he used to be, he was a musician in the '60s, and mm-hmm. now he's a conservative podcaster, and um, he came out pretty hard against not you specifically. I'm feeling like he's, but he's kind of calling your people out, and I don't. Yeah, I would say you're pe- uh, you people. I'm not trying to make any kind of gross generalization. Sounds like you, it sounds like you, you did. But he he had some things to say. He so, did. Uh, yeah. So I wanted to bring this clip, and we'll see what happens. Nobody has ever given a productive interview in a bucket hat. I mean, that's a universal sign. If someone comes to the interview in a bucket hat, universal sign. Where the person is saying, I am here to mess up this hit and embarrass you live on television. In fact, nobody's ever done anything productive in any context in a, in a bucket hat. Nothing of value has ever been achieved by anyone ever when they're wearing a hat like that. It's never happened one time, I'm telling you. Dude. Fuck. Sorry. I'm going to go get some cheeks after this horsepower drink. (laughs) (laughs) I'd really love to get some cheeks as long as I use the bidet. Shots fired, dude. Matt Walsh. You just heard what he said. And I like the guy. No one has ever done anything in a bucket hat. Yo, most fishermen... You're doing stuff every day in a bucket hat. Yeah, you know me. I mean, yeah. If you ain't wearing a bucket, fuck it. That's how it's got to go. <laughs> we have ten minutes, right? We did ten minutes. We're good. Oh, um, yeah. I think he needs to know. I think we need. I think you need to make a personal response video. I think you should. Watch Mike this Walsh, video. put on a bucket. You'll you understand if you like had a bucket on, you might be able to go get some cheeks. Yeah. After you drink that horsepower drink, I'm park talking. that Maserati back in your garage. Yeah. 
Stop trashing hotel rooms. Exactly. Be throwing TVs Matt Walsh. into the pool. How old are you, Matt Walsh? You're still trashing hotel rooms? Come on. Wait, it's something you do in your 20s. I don't know why he's hating on the bucket. Yeah. I, I, I've i been a, a advocate of the bucket for yeah. a long time now. Like an hour. And, um, <laughs> yeah. For, I mean, I, I love the bucket. I don't even how it like incorporated into my That's your my regalia, but now it's a thing. I got you. Got to have a fanny pack. <laughs> you got to have your markers. <laughs> you got to have your coasters and your stickers. And I'm doing lots in the bucket. I don't know what he's talking about. I'd say you've you've been on more episodes with a bucket hat than you've been without one. Yes, fact. But I brought out the bill today. But has he added? Anything of value to those episodes? No, just or made has he just no, destroyed? No, 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 no value. No, 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 no value. <laughs> this is short and white. What do you want? And I'm pregnant with Norma's so, baby. <laughs> Matt Walsh, <laughs> you got to get out there a little more often. You got to meet some people with bucket hats because people with bucket hats built this country. All right. We built this city on bucket hats. <laughs> yeah, people with you. bucket hats. Built the city. Invented everything. People with bucket hats invented the light bulb. Exactly. People with bucket hats invented the toilet. People with bucket hats invented Wakanda. People with bucket hats invented the airplane, uh, the helicopter. What haven't you invented? I mean... I didn't invent Jesus. People with bucket hats did not invent (laughs) Jesus. Everything post-Jesus, though, you can trace it back to To someone who wore a bucket hat. Fact, and the fact that Matt Walsh doesn't know this, with all of his resources, all of his money, he's got a huge company, the Daily Wire, behind him, and he doesn't know this. Common knowledge. I bet we could go dig deep and we'd find Mike Walsh with a bucket hat on somewhere, somehow, yeah. swimming in Lake Michigan. I'm sure. Back in the '60s when he was touring Dude, with his that. band, just yeah, Photoshop it, <laughs> yeah. make our life easier. He's talking shit. But he probably has a bucket in his closet. I'm sure. He probably uses it to piss in. <laughs> piss bucket. I mean, does that? How does that make you feel that somebody for something that defines your identity? So it doesn't like the thing is intensely. like. I'm not gonna lose any sleep over Mike Walsh's hating on my bucket. What about Matt Walsh? The fuck's Matt? (laughs) (laughs) Matt Walsh is not going to make me lose sleep. But Jimmy Walsh. I met Jimmy Carter. And he didn't hate on my bucket like Matt. Matt needs to buy a bucket. Can we send Matt Walsh a bucket? We should send him a bucket. That moment right there just felt like a Joe Rogan podcast. We should send 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 him a bucket. We should send him a dirty bucket. I'll shit in it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wipe no, off your a, uh, wipe off your ass water, and then send no. them. <laughs> no, you no, guys it's, are going, I'm clean. I'm talking about a bucket of fried chicken from Kentucky oh, yeah. Fried Chicken. That's yeah, what we, we used to call bucket them. dirty buckets. Yeah. Why is it called a dirty bucket? A Twelve piece. Oh, is that what the dirty bucket is? It's, you know, it's shitty fried chicken. Oh. In a in a paper bucket. Okay. Mm. It's a dirty, bu- dirty bucket. Wasn't it? Now we're gonna send 80s biscuits. agenda. We gotta send some biscuits nah. too. We gotta biscuits. We'll send them some biscuits. With yeah. some honey. No gravy though. Biscuits, no, no gravy. <laughs> oh yeah. No gravy. <laughs> that's that's like a peanut butter that's and no insult. bev. Mm-hmm. You ain't dick, dick, <clears throat> dicking your buckets. <laughs> All right, Matt Walsh. So yeah, you know, get out into the world a little bit more. Get out of your, you know, conservative ivory tower that you stay in and do your podcast every day and you don't meet any real Americans I'm like Kenny if, G. I'm wondering if he was hating on the black bucket or if he's hating on the white bucket. Why does there have to be two different colors of buckets? Why can't they all be the same color? I mean, well... Knowing him, he probably hates the black bucket more than he hates the white bucket. But who knows? He might be an equal opportunity bucket hater. He might hate them all. He didn't specify. He didn't. He didn't. That's true. No. I mean, he was commenting about a black bucket. He was. I mean, that was a darker 
I mean, I'm more, my bucket's more flamboyant. So maybe he'd be more, for this month, maybe he might. He'd be more accepting yeah. in my bucket. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Where are we going here? We got uh, uh, oh, our favorite. The best yes. clip ever. I can't wait. The new Great White Hope oh. in the WNBA. Let's go, Caitlin. Caitlin Clark. Yo. So everybody knows at this point. She's incredible. She she broke all kinds of records in college. She's in her rookie year now in the WNBA. And people are like, what's the WNBA? Oh, the women's? There's a women's? Women play basketball? I didn't know that. They sure do. A whole lot more people know that now that Caitlin Clark is doing it. She's doubled, tripled, quadrupled the attendance at the games that she's playing in versus the average attendance for most WNBA games. People are buying jerseys. More people are coming to the games, watching the games. I just seen a video of her like going under like a little like divider so she could sign for the kids, like all the little yeah. ladies and stuff. It was beautiful. And she's cool. She yeah. lo- she loves her fans. She's, she's like doing it, dude. Down to earth. She doesn't seem cocky. She no. seems like very Well I what? mean, there was that one clip that surfaced. Well, oh. so things have been going on, you know. Mm. She got body checked. To the floor by mm. this chick. Um, so I thought it was Chennedy Carter because her first name spelled C H E mm. instead of K, but it's actually Kennedy. So oh, okay. not only did her parents, I don't know if that's some weird ebonic spelling of Kennedy. I don't spell well, so it doesn't matter. So and it, the ball wasn't even in play, the mm. ball had not even been inbounded yet. And this chick came over and body checked her to the floor. <laughs> Was and, it in the month of June or no? Uh, or was maybe it in the very tail end of May. Okay. Well, that's different. But the WNBA is 30% lesbian. Mm. <laughs> is it true? It's, uh, that's true. I'm not making that up. It's 70% black and 30% lesbian. Let's go. Well, let's go. So there's been all ki- like this insane backlash to this white chick who happens to be a great women's basketball player people are calling her out for white privilege pretty privilege and she's not even attractive i mean she's she's not fine not fine (laughs) she's okay she's not i I wouldn't call her pretty she's she's all right she's she's a female athlete she takes care of herself she looks okay i wouldn't say she has pretty privilege but this one chick freaking on the view you know that show with those crazy uh it's sunny hostin i think actually called her out for tall privilege I'm like wait you're talking about a professional basketball player tall don't privilege. don't they all have tall privilege i'm sure i have no i have no privilege to talk about this like i'm not even privileged to have this conversation you know what i mean like how do you make it into the professional women's basketball league without having tall privilege they all do unless you're annabelle iverson (laughs) what the fuck is going on i mean no we're not talking about practice okay (laughs) (laughs) so everybody's been coming down on her and uh you know people have like and this chick uh kennedy carter is is it kennedy yeah carter turns out she on twitter slash x People were posting like you should have hit her harder. You should have, and this girl's actually liking those tweets. So, because some people are like, "Oh, you know, it's basketball. It's a sport. It's rough. That thing ha- that that shit happens. The ball wasn't even in play. It wasn't inbounded yet. Right. There was set, standing there. She walked over, body checked her, and yeah, maybe Caitlin flopped a little bit. She might have done, done a little LeBron kind of flop thing, but still, like, she obviously." threw her to the floor for some reason you know is it because she's white i don't know usually when you like beat on someone you like like them is, I, she might be oh. attracted to her that could be a thing so kennedy carter may yeah maybe she's one of the 30 percent lesbian and yeah. she's actually coming on kind of hard that's how i learned it in grade school like she's got like a little they, jungle the fever punched me like she might have liked me oh i ran and cried <laughs> like i had no idea that's a that's an interesting that's a theory turn. i just 
I've been not watching it. Maybe but she's into her. That's the smartest thing I think I've ever heard Kenny say. You better be fucking nice, JoJo. <laughs> I'm never going to McDonald's if you talk to me like that. Because after the game, the <laughs> reporters obviously wanted to ask her about it. She's like, I ain't asking no, I ain't answering no questions about right. Caitlin, you know. But maybe that's because she's into her. That's an, it's an attraction. Maybe she wants to scissor. It's kind of hot. <laughs> it's kind of hot when you got someone that's like super talented. Crack like jamming everybody, and then like she's like, "Well, damn, I want to be next to her." Listen, if I worked at Foot Locker, I'd be all I'd be all over her. But I think Caitlyn, like, you know, like she seems like a great person. She doesn't seem cocky. She seems pretty humble. She seems to really love the game. She loves the idea. She's got to deal with Nike, Gatorade. She's she's the first. I can't say the first because I don't know shit about the WNBA. I mean, who does? Just, but she's definitely a superstar, and she's definitely going to do good things for the league. But I think the hate is starting to get to her a little bit because she released a statement, <laughs> and we got a video of it. And I don't know. She's kind of going off a little bit. I'm the richest woman in the WNBA. I've got endorsements with Nike and Gatorade. Most of these other ladies work second jobs at Foot Locker. Um, just take Melissa sitting next to me. She makes less than a high school teacher in Ohio. Um, no hardworking American uh, wants to spend their hard-earned cash uh, to see a bunch of clumsy brickland females. Um, they are more preoccupied with dating each other than uh, performing on the court. Um, I made more money in college than these women see in their whole careers. Yo, damn, Caitlin. Yo, she's not coming out. She's coming in hot. It's going out off. the trot, she, yo. Caitlin's going off. Gatorade, Nike, come on, baby. She's hot now. She'd be dunking on all She's those bitches. Yeah. <laughs> That's attractive. Like, I can't afford her dunks. <laughs> I can't even, like, maybe she'd give me piggyback. Someone said that that maybe AI. Mm. I'm not sure. Maybe AI, AI, AI what? Artificial intelligence generated content oh uh, so she doesn't have the deal. i don't know i can't say it sounded pretty real to me like i don't need uh, ai for her to give me piggyback oh no you can okay. get a real piggyback we, we could yeah. we could recreate you and ai getting a piggyback <laughs> <laughs> i don't want ai piggyback i want real life piggyback and i want my baby back baby back from caitlin <laughs> I don't care. You like Caitlyn? <laughs> From Kenlyn, I don't give a shit who it is. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> It'd be Jolyn. Let's he, go. He needs a big It'd be game. Jolene. I don't care. Let's go. Kenlyn, 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 Kenlyn. Give me a piggyback ride because I'm Why feeling. Why don't you give me a piggyback ride? Because I'm feeling lean. <laughs> so, look, what, shouldn't we be celebrating this, right I would think so, but isn't isn't this good? No, no, you got. It. Is it isn't this the de- the definition of diversity? If you if you look at a space that's seventy percent black, right, and a white chick comes in and excels and does a good job, isn't that the definition of increasing diversity? Not when you're white. Now you're white. <laughs> it's, See, it's and a- so if anybody ever had any doubts about what diversity actually means, diversity just means less white people. That's what it means. It doesn't actually mean diversity. In any context that they use that word, it only means <laughs> less white people. Because if, di- if it didn't, if we actually use the word as its real definition, this would be something that qualifies. You have a lead that's dominated by one color, and then another color comes in and does really well. You would think that would be like, okay, we're increasing the diversity of the WNBA, not but when, instead, not, not when like people are coming down dominated on earlier in their careers. Yeah. That's the deal. Not in the WNBA. <laughs> no, nope. white saying, chicks never dominated. I'm talking like years, years prior. Like that's that's what the well, yeah, but we're talking happening. about, but we're talking about the WNBA. That was never dominated by white chicks. No, <laughs> right? Never. No. Have you ever probably seen? don't won't ever be, but you have one who's doing well, who's bringing lots of attention to the league, and she is taking shit all the time. It just. People aren't trying to celebrate and elevate people. They're just trying to fuck them. That's yeah. it. That's it. Like, if people cared about the sport 
they'd care that she's doing great. They wouldn't want to shit on her. Right. And bringing more attention to yeah. the sport is good for everybody exactly. involved in it. And it's so gonna, that's what I don't, that's what I don't understand. You can't, which, I'm going to go back to my old little like quote that I've always said for many years is that you can't make sense out of nonsense. Yeah. And that's a shame. And it's not fair, but like that's what the reality we're living right now, because it's fuckery beyond the women's sports and and like our lives and all of it. It's like it goes beyond that. Like like what you're talking about with the women's sports, like it's throughout. It just ripples. The ripple effect is greater. Yeah. So it goes beyond that. Like it just shows all the horse shit that we got to deal with, and. uh I just want to clap them cheeks. <laughs> My horse power drink. Yeah, that's all it is. It's a myth. But at the end of the day, it's like the ripple effect. It's like yeah. just showing her no support is just the ignorance of the most of the world. Yeah, that's the sin. I think it's more than nonsense, though. I think it's, it's actually. Just, it's all for business. I think it's actually racism that's going on. I and mean, yeah. I th- I think they they dislike her because she's, she's a white. white she's a white woman. Yeah, probably. Haters are going to hate. Yeah. That's how it goes. Shake it off. Shake it off. They hate Taylor, too. <laughs> I'm joking. They know. hate us because they <laughs> ain't <laughs> us. That's just it, dude. I don't know. I, I know, like, growing up, FUBU, for us, by us. <laughs> like, you know, you know, it's not for you, whitey. I never had any FUBU. Mm-mm. I had some cross colors. You can tell because that was okay. That they that wasn't specifically anti-white. It was like we anybody could wear cross colors. Shit. We didn't have. I I had one, I had one cross one, color one, outfit. One jerk or shirt. One or, one shirt or matched short. shirt that matched the shorts. Uh, I would love to see yeah. a photograph. What, what of is that? that? What what is cross color? You so know. that was in the nineties. That was like when. Um, what would you say? It was like an urban clothing brand. But uh, a lot of us wiggers also wore it, too, because they would all often have a shop in the mall. And for those of us who had an affinity for black culture, fashion yeah. and music yeah. in the 90s, that was a yeah. uh, so there was a lot of like matched sets. So you'd have like a shirt with like some crazy design that would also match the shorts. Oh. Um, back then, it was big to have. It was overalls, but they were shorts too, and we were wearing with like one side of the overall up and the other side down. That was part of the style, though. So cross colors made some of those too. But then Fubu came out. Oh yeah, which stood for for us by, by us. us. So it was specifically a black clothing company, and we were like, I don't, I'm not sure if we can, like, <laughs> can we. Can nope. I, can you I can't. wear that? No, you can't. Like I don't know if it's not for am you. Am I gonna be the first one? It's not for you. It's, like, not, it's not for you. Nope. Me. You can't wear it. So I never did. I respected the boundaries there. I was like, well, it's I got in the punk rock for I had them to deal by with them. I'm, all, I'm okay. I got into the punk rock scene. I had to deal with none of this shit. <laughs> Swear to God, I had a mohawk, ripped up jeans because that's what I had, and some combat boots. It was way yeah. easier than all the extra shit. That's now great. I did like the hip hop. It was good. Yeah, but I didn't do the crisscross. All right, jump, jump. <laughs> I didn't cross over, but I definitely hip hopped. I hippity hopped. I said break dance at the YMC. I wasn't good because I was white. <laughs> <laughs> do you even know JoJo that uh, crisscross was a band in the nineties? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they were like they were the shit back. Yeah, I know, I know. There, crisscross so they- make you jump, okay, okay. Jump. But they wore their pants backwards, backwards. and so yeah. people actually started wearing pants yeah, and then, backwards. And everyone with the right Real mind life. thought it was like gay as hell because, like, oh, you had a zipper in the back. <laughs> right. <laughs> exactly. All right. So you know. Wow. Is that your promotion for this month? What's going on? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I, I'm just, I'm just telling you what I, I'm spitting out what I learned. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. You are spitting all right. Chris Cross will make you gay. You're spitting, gay. Yeah. You're spitting on that back zipper. That's what she's spitting on. <laughs> Just the voice. I didn't, oh. I didn't like their voices either. It kind of was like, Ugh. well, they were so young. That's yeah. the thing. They were like kids. Well, the whole well, deal was the whole deal was that House of Pain was coming out with their shit. There was a whole battle. Oh yeah, where they pushed the crisscross out right. first before they had the House of Pain's right. jump. The jump, the House of Pain shit was the hottest. 
I mean, we didn't. I mean, I liked. I thought that like when that came out. Oh yeah, Jackson was Five. The, yeah, no, it wasn't Jackson Five. It was House Chapin. <laughs> Put your pain in the house. Yeah, it was so good. I that loved it. I loved when House of Pain came out. I've done that at karaoke before. I'm sure you did. You look like <laughs> you're not that. I'm not but, Irish. What are you talking about? You're white. You're Irish. Or whatever. Like, yeah, I I noticed that. Speaking of Irish, in the earlier episodes, your hair looked orange. Did it? Yeah. I don't know if it was just my uh, tint. I have like already pre-programmed on my monitor, but I was like yeah. going through the TikTok on my computer, and your hair looked orange. I'm like, huh. That's no, weird. I do not have orange hair. It must have been the lighting or some filter we had on. Or, yeah. yeah. You look like Chucky. <laughs> you know, it did. It, it did. You look like Chucky, right? You need yeah. them overalls on. The crisscrosses with the little flat back. You, know, it, you make you want to jump. Jump. <laughs> Your zipper on the back, I make you want to jump. Jump. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's end this on a like really great story. Okay. I'm really psyched about this Ooh, one. Ooh, I'm tickled. <laughs> so there is finally, after years and years of people saying, why, why is it the woman's responsibility for birth control? Why, why isn't there male birth control? Meanwhile, men are like, uh, you know why. Just think about it a little bit. There is a brand new male birth control. It's called no sex. And it's a, <laughs> it's a gel. Oh, that you rub on your shoulders. <laughs> both of them? Both of your shoulders. Uh, I think for an average of about eight weeks. And it slowly decreases your sperm count to the point where... Turns into baby powder? You're unable to <laughs> get a woman pregnant. Just do drugs. Why? It's wild, right? That is wild. And so I, I heard at first they wanted to call it Ben Gay. But then they realized that name was taken. So I think they've settled on the, the name Pussy Paste. <laughs> <laughs> because who who is going to do this? Who is going to rub a gel on your own shoulders that basically emasculates you? That turns down, that decreases your... Sp- <laughs> who is going to do that other than somebody who's going to have their girlfriend's boyfriend be the one to rub that on their shoulders? Yo, can I rub the, like Elmer's glue on my shoulders and still like make you not get you pregnant? I think the okay. only actual case where this is viable would be like a male porn star. If they are aren't, aren't already snipped. Yeah. That is the only option I can see that being like, okay, it's for work. Sure. Or for liberal dudes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that too. And it's like, <laughs> honey, can you just like I can't reach. Can your boyfriend just rub this on my shoulders? <laughs> like, like, I don't. I don't want to have a baby. I don't want to get you pregnant. I, whatever your boyfriend does, is I'm fine. the baby. Like, I'm just, the baby. Yeah. Talk about. But could you imagine? Like, it's come bizarre. on. Bizarre. Come on. on. The shoulders. Why the shoulders? Yeah, Joey, not? I thought you said you had a better spot to put it. Oh what, yeah. What, you yeah. Say? No, my my advertisement for being like you know I just you know I was trying out this new male birth control and they said you know put it on your shoulders it was a little confusing so i just went right to the spot and started using his lube <laughs> started you know getting the job done now with it's it. like balls be gone he but has no just, balls left it just disintegrated it. Yeah. <laughs> he's just got all dick no balls <laughs> <laughs> you know it's, it's joey it, cock that's it, it. it tingled and all of a sudden they were just like gone <laughs> but i wonder if that is that why you have to put it on your shoulders is it too powerful could they have not have Diluted it somehow. Maybe, maybe it just needs to just fully rub it, saturate r- through the the bloodstream. Yeah, no, be fucked the- up. It, and I know I said that word, but um, if like you just rub it on your shoulders and like all of a sudden your dick falls off. No, no, no. Now you became pregnant. <laughs> what? <laughs> but yes. seriously, like, what's what what's gayer than if you're not rubbing it on your old own shoulders? If if your girlfriend's boyfriend is rubbing this gel that's going to decrease your sperm count. I've never met my girlfriend's boyfriend. Yeah, that's crazy. I, I don't even know his name. There's a reason why you don't. Dude, that is so that's so terrifying because like the same simple fact of like what if it's permanent? Yeah. Like what if they messed up and like for some people it's permanent? 
Yeah. Like you just saved millions of dollars. Like, you're fine. Like, yeah, you're, you're, I, like you're, I'm almost yeah. tempted. Yeah. Let, let's let's all buy it. And if yeah. one of us goes in for to like can't have kids anymore, imagine that lawsuit. Yeah, this is just uh, this is just the first stage until right. they can figure out how to put it into the water supply. It's already yeah. in there. It's already in there. Yeah, yeah. they shrunk my balls. You, in, you since saw. 96. You saw. Did you see the um <laughs> the post about the microplastic and um yeah in the water and then coming up in people's uh, balls? Yeah. yeah, seen it. Yep. I've like. My, I can't even find my balls because it's like plastic. It's like how, how can I, you <laughs> at this point? How can you not believe that there's an international conspiracy to stop human beings from breeding, from having children? There are so many. You own nothing. You own nothing. Your and, balls will have nothing, and you'll be happy. I and mean, you'll be happy worldwide. Yeah. You'll jerk off, and nothing comes out. You'll be happy. Eat our bugs. Exactly. Eat You'll the, have no fluid. live in, live in a yeah. pod. Good bugs. You have your have, yeah, good bugs. Sponsor. You're gonna blow dust. That's it. Yeah. That's it. And you'll be happy. You'll hook, be hooked up to a machine. We'll harvest the electricity from your body to power the lizard people that are finally gonna come out from the core of the earth and reveal themselves as the true rulers of the planet. I am a lizard. Are, are you? Well, yeah. get. I don't watch. <laughs> Come on, man! I don't watch. How the fuck? Well, get us. Freaking... Which one is it? <laughs> get it? Which one are you looking for? Jesus, Jojo. What the fuck is he? You know, let's... I drive a. I am the walrus. I love it all. That. I love like the mashup. I love. I was it. looking me. for the... I'm the walrus. I'm the walrus. I like yeah. them all together. It's good, dude. I love it. Yeah, we should print out a little map, dude. I know where right. one is. Yeah. Can you guess which one that is? Yes, Subaru, I know. The Subaru one. <laughs> All right, no, I know where two are. <laughs> now we'll do. Uh, we'll just quiz you each time. We'll quiz yeah. you. Be like Subaru. Hit me. I drive a Subaru because no. I'm gay. <laughs> Perfect. So, do you have any of that cream to rub my shoulders? <laughs> I didn't get any yet. Yeah. <laughs> Who makes it? Pfizer. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm sure Pfizer does. Johnson oh, and Johnson. Johnson's no Johnson. Johnson and no blowing Johnson. blanks. Johnson. <laughs> blowing janks. Wait, no. Blowing blank Johnsons. No Johnson's got none. You blowing Johnson? What? Yeah. Johnson and no Johnson. Yeah. That's it no is. baby. I'm not the pappy that baby. I rubbed the shit on my yeah. shoulder. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Johnson's baby no baby powder. No baby gel on my shoulder. Yep. What an episode, guys. Jeez. We got anything else? I feel like we I'm missing Matt. You really missing him? I didn't really miss him that much. <laughs> <laughs> White guys, let's do that. White guys are back. White guys.